So today I would like to talk about what I do when I get the flu. So this past weekend, I got the flu, started on Thursday, um, had it Friday and then Saturday, Sunday, <clears throat> kept getting better and then back at work on Monday with just a little bit of nasal congestion. And so I was very pleased with how fast that moved through me. And so I really wanted to share this with you guys. And I have done a video like this before that is on YouTube. So if you do want to get some more of the particulars and the PDF that I mentioned that I'm going to mention in here that has the protocol written out, as well as if you go to the end of that <clears throat> on YouTube, so if you look for Dr. Hirsch's cold and flu protocol, um, you can you can scroll to the end of that and you can find the charts there that I have for children and for adults and the recommended dosing. Okay, so let's jump in here. Well, first, but for those of you who are new or don't know me, my name is Dr. Evan Hirsch, and I'm a functional medicine MD, and I specialize in helping people get rid of their fatigue, and I'm on a mission to help 100,000 people do so, and I'm doing that through the Facebook group, these Facebook Lives, through um, the book that I wrote, and one-on-one -on -one consults right now, and I'm working very hard on coming out with group coaching and or online classes. So more on that soon. So let's jump in here. So a couple things. First thing we want to do is we want to kill the virus. Most of the time, well, the flu is an actual virus. It's not influenza, which is a bacteria, but generally you're, you're going to have a virus which is causing the flu. Um, and so you want to kill the virus. You want to boost your immune system. And so let's talk about how to do that. So first, let's talk about boosting the immune system. So what I like to do is I like to take high doses of vitamin D, so up to vitamin D3 of 2,000, or sorry, of 20,000 international units per day. I always like to take vitamin D with a little bit of vitamin K, so I like the vitamin D Supreme from Designs for Health. And... The next thing that I like to do is I like to increase my body temperature. So the body, the immune system functions better at a higher temperature. So I have a sauna, an infrared sauna in my home. So I jump in there and I increase my temperature. I'll take a warm bath um, that I also put in some uh, essential oils. This time I used Essential Immune by Byron White Formulas. I put a dropper full in there. It's got a number of essential oils that are really great for breaking up. I had all the sinus stuff and headache, head pain, and so that was really wonderful. I also put in some Epsom salt baths. The magnesium is really great, um, as well as there was some other essential oils in there. I believe that there might have been some eucalyptus um, that's really wonderful for opening up things. So boosting the immune system. We talked about vitamin D. We talked about increasing our body temperature. Oh, and then when you're in bed, you just want to bundle up as warm as you can so that you are increasing your body temperature too. It's good to sweat during the night because you are breaking your fever and you are increasing your body temperature and improving your immune system. So, um, and then there's some other things that I'll use to boost the immune system, but mostly they are antimicrobial. So let's talk about some of those. So I'll use olive leaf extract at one capsule every three hours. I'll use oregano oil at, um, and that's about 500 milligrams. I'll use oregano oil at about 300 milligrams every three hours. I'll use colloidal silver at a teaspoon um, or a tablespoon rather every three hours or I will use um, ACS 200 results RNA spray which is 10 sprays every three hours um, I'll use monolaurin two capsules every three hours and that's by um, can't remember the name environmental ecologics I believe um, and those are the main one that I use and then Byron White formulas also has a very nice product called A-SF which is really wonderful for boosting the immune system as well as killing the bug. And that I take as a dropper every three hours. Now when I'm feeling sicker, I'll take more. So I'll do two droppers every three hours. And then I'll also do some sprays of zinc, trying to get up to 20 to 40 milligrams of zinc. 
Um, you always want to consume a ton of fluids um, while you're doing this and actually I fast when I don't feel well. The first sign immediately I start fasting on bone broth as well as on juices and we're talking about like juices that you would normally do like a a detox uh, protocol. So I'll go to the local place for juicing and I'll get like um, you know cucumber, kale, celery, um, lemon, lime, you know a bunch of the nice greens, um, some, maybe there's some apple juice in there too, usually there's a piece of fruit, um, but that's really great because it takes a lot of energy to digest your food and the if you don't have to digest your food and you're giving your gut a break you can use that energy then to boost the immune system and to take care of the infection so and then of course you want to get a lot of sleep you don't want to do work you want to relax your brain as much as possible um, you want to think good thoughts as always but those are the main things that I do um, oh, and then I do like Pelargonium as well, which is a product called V-Clear, V-C-L-E-A-R. That's by Integrative Therapeutics. And Pelargonium is a very well-researched herb that's great for decreasing the duration of any sort of cold and or flu. So this protocol I have found generally shrinks, you know, usually um, viruses, flus, colds will last seven to 10 days. That's a typical course. And I find that with this protocol, you can shrink it down to about three or four days. You just have to stay on it. You just have to take your stuff. You just have to fast. And you just have to rest. Um, I think the last thing is vitamin C. So don't always do this, but oftentimes taking bowel tolerance, excuse me, of vitamin C can be very helpful. And that could be um, sometimes that's 10 thousand milligrams a day sometimes it's 15 I'll usually do 2,000 milligrams every three hours and get about 10,000 milligrams if you if you take too much vitamin C you will get loose stools and so that's how you know when you're getting your bowel tolerance but vitamin C can be very helpful at boosting the immune system as well if you do have access to someone who has IV therapy getting a high dose IV vitamin C drip can be incredibly helpful and there was one time I had um, pneumonia and 50 grams I believe or maybe it was yeah 50 grams of vitamin C really knocked it out sometimes I think I had to do two um, in a row but it, incredibly helpful makes um, the immune system work incredibly well and detoxes at the same time so I hope this was helpful for you if you liked it and you learned something please give it a thumbs up share it with other people if you're watching this on YouTube please subscribe to our channel so have a wonderful day thanks for watching